Okay, so you're supposed to solve for theta. Theta lies between 0 degrees and 180. So the first thing is to make tan theta the subject. So we write like the equation 2 times tan theta minus 0, 0,82 equal to 0. You will get 2 tan theta equal to 0, 0,82. And then you divide both sides by 2. Right? And then you get tan theta equal to well equal to zero comma eight two over two. Then you say theta equal to shift tan of zero comma eight two over two. So that will be shift tan of zero comma eight two all over 2. Uh, so you get theta, okay, to two decimal places, it will be 22,29 degrees. Okay, now the restriction there, it says theta must be between 0 and 180 degrees, right? Which means the, the only answer for that we can have for this question is. 22,29 degrees. Because in the second quadrant, uh, if theta, in the second quadrant, tan is positive, but our ratio here, this ratio, in fact, this one here, it is a positive ratio. Or you can say this ratio here is a positive ratio. So since tan theta is positive, the only answer that, that, that you can have is 22,29 degrees. If the restriction had included the third quadrant, then we were going to end up having to find an angle in the third quadrant, which gives us a positive ratio for tan. All right, so for this question, one answer only. Okay, why is it one answer? It's because of the given restriction. We can't calculate a value in the second quadrant because it gives us a negative ratio. So when you are doing trigonometric equations in this grade, your knowledge of quadrants is extremely important. All right? Is there anybody who has got any question there before I move on to the next one? All right, if you don't have a question, then uh, let's move on to the next one. Now, question four is slightly more complex. Okay, it's not like one F that has been. First thing, let's deal with the restriction. So, this restriction means that zero degrees is less than two beta minus 26 degrees is less than 360 degrees. So what, what, what that means is that this 2 beta, this 2 beta minus 26 degrees lies between 0 and 360 degrees. But we can simplify it using our knowledge of any quadrant. So I'll add 26, this, this 26 here, I'll add it on both sides. If I do that, I'll get 26 degrees is less than 2 beta is less than 386 degrees. Then I have to divide by 2. Every 10 here, so we get 26 over 2 is less than 2 beta over 2 is less than 386 degrees over 2. So you end up getting, uh, you end up getting 13 degrees is less than beta, and beta is less than, well, if you divide if you divide 386 by 2, you will get 193 degrees. So what this means is, we are trying to solve for beta here. Don't forget that we are solving for beta. It means our answer for beta must be between 13 degrees and 193. Okay? So let's carry on now. 
So our trigonometric equation is 2 cos 2 beta minus 26 degrees is equal to minus 1.5. So first thing, we have to isolate the cos 2 beta minus 26. So we divide both sides by 2 first. And remember, when you are dividing by 2, this, this binomial here is not affected directly by that 2. So you cannot divide the 2 beta by 2 and the 26 by 2. We are only dividing the whole term by 2. So we get minus 1,5 over 2. And then we end up having cos 2 beta minus 26 degrees is equal to 2. Now this, well, it will give me minus 0, 0,75. Okay, so that's equal to cos 2 beta. Then we drop the cos on the left, we we'll get 2 beta minus 26 degrees. Now, what, what this means is, this equation here is very important for you to know what it means. It means, whatever angle is 2 beta minus 26 degrees, it will give us a ratio that's negative 0, 0.75, which means we need to know in which quadrants between 0 and 360 degrees is 2 beta minus 26. I'm sure you are aware that there are only two, par two quadrants where cos is negative, the second quadrant or the third quadrant. Okay, so 2 beta lies between 0 and 360, and there are only two quadrants that satisfy that condition. All right, so this will be 2 beta minus 26 degrees is is equal to shift cos of minus 0 0.75 degrees. Then you use your cal you use your calculator. Now it could be shift cos of minus 0 0.75. And the answer that you get there is 138.59. So 2 beta minus 26 degrees is equal to 138,59 degrees. Now this 138,95 degrees is our reference angle. And this angle, this angle here, it's between 0 and 360. Okay? The angle is between 0 degrees and 360 degrees, which means it is one of our answers. Not for for beta, but it is one of the answers that we are going to use to determine beta. Then we need to find another angle which corresponds to it in the third quadrant because cos is negative in the second and the third. And this angle here is in the second quadrant. So I'm going to use it to find beta. So I'll take the 26, the 26 degrees to the right. We we'll end up getting 2 beta is equal to 1. 64 to 164 to 164,59 degrees. Okay, and what that means is that I can say, therefore, beta is going to be equal to, so we divide, okay, we divide 164,59 by 2 we will get 82,30 degrees. Now, this is the answer for beta. And then we go back to the restriction for beta only. I'm sure you can see that 82,30 degrees is between 13 degrees and 198, which means this is our first value for beta. Okay, so here we have got two restrictions, one for 2 beta minus 26, the other one is for beta, and we must use both of them to get our answer. All right, any question there? I'm not done, I need to, to, to ask you first so that we, I, I can know that we are on the same page. Before I move on to find the second value for uh, for beta.
Any question? Okay, if you don't have a question, then let's move on to the second one. Now, to find the second one, we need to determine another reference angle which is related to 138,59. 138,59 is in the second quadrant. So, which angle gives us the same ratio as, as 138,59, but it's in the third quadrant? Can someone tell us based on what you have understood so far and what I said yesterday? What did I say yesterday with regard to finding an angle in the third quadrant for sine and cos? Well, what did I say yesterday you must do in order to find the angle in the third quadrant? If you know, a reference angle in the second in the second part. So yes. Are you are not, not supposed, supposed to, to uh, uh, plus? plus Yesterday, I did an example and I explained how to use an angle in the second quadrant, either for sine or cos, to get an angle in the third quadrant. What did I say you must do? Is it, Is not, it not plus 360, 360 degrees? degrees? Well, if you add 360 degrees, you, you come back to the same point. So you don't add 360. Is there anybody who wants to try? At least you you tried. Thank you for that. All right. Yesterday I told you that this this is our reference angle. So if you want to determine the one in the third quadrant, you subtract this angle here from three sixty degrees, so that you get an angle in the third quadrant, right? So, to get that angle in the, in the third quadrant, it will be, you say, 360 degrees minus, minus, it will be minus uh, 138, comma, 138,59, right? This will give you 221,41 degrees. So what that means is 2 beta minus 26 degrees is going to be equal to 221,41 degrees. And then you get 2 beta equal to 247,41 degrees. And then you divide both sides by 2. Okay, you divide both sides by 2, so 247,41 divided by 2. You end up getting beta being equal to 123,71 degrees. Now, this 123,71, you need to, to check if it's in the interval for beta. Right? Our interval for beta is this one here. So it is less than 193, it is more than 13 degrees. Therefore, we have two answers for beta. So I can say, therefore, beta is equal to, the first one is 82,3, 82,30 degrees, or beta is equal to 123,71 degrees. And then we are done. Right, so those will be the solutions for beta, these two. Okay, if you want to prove that they are correct, you can go 